little kid, I always heard my mom say, don't waste food. When I moved abroad for my studies, that's when I realized that I'm way more like my mother than I ever anticipated. I use the food till it is visibly spoiled. I just don't like to waste food. Well, that and because I'm way too lazy to actually go out and have to replace that food. I realized that all of my friends threw away milk even when it was in perfectly good condition just because the label said so. Ah, oh, don't you just hate labels? But that got me thinking, am I going to die because I drank milk three days after its expiry date? So I did some digging and here's what I found out. Raw milk is a compound liquid, meaning that it is a mixture of proteins, fats, carbohydrates, minerals and water. But it also contains various types of bacteria. These bacteria can be harmful to our health and have been known to have caused tuberculosis. So how do we tackle this? Bacteria in milk are of two types. Those which grow in cold temperatures and those which grow in warmer temperatures. After milk is obtained, it is quickly stored at temperatures of 6 degrees Celsius or below, which essentially kills or inactivates the warm-loving bacteria. But now we are left with the cold-loving bacteria. Raw milk is then heated at 72 degrees for precisely 15 seconds and then rapidly cooled down to 6 degrees Celsius. This process is what we call pasteurization. Pasteurization was initially used to stop wine from getting spoiled. The high temperatures kill or inactivate these remaining bacteria and we can safely drink our milk. So then why does our pasteurized milk still go bad? Not all the bacteria are killed by pasteurization. Reproductive cells of certain bacteria are heat resistant and some of these can grow at refrigeration temperatures. It is the presence of these cells which puts a date on the milk. These bacteria grow in milk over time and attack the nutritional components of milk. When they eventually take over the milk, the milk starts smelling foul and looks lumpy. This means that a use by date is not the last word. The milk can stay good for longer times as well. Conversely, it can go bad earlier if it is kept at room temperature for longer durations. Research says that the shelf life of a dairy product is the time during which it remains wholesome and does not show any physical defects. The dates given by the researchers are just approximate timelines. For example, two weeks in the fridge for fresh milk as that is the time by when the bacteria should generally have taken over the milk. However, these dates are just guidelines and this entire process can be slowed down by storing milk in the refrigerator and not letting it sit on the counter for longer durations. As for milk in tetra packs, they can stay on the shelf for longer durations as they have been heat treated at higher temperatures than pasteurized milk. So it is safe to say that expired milk may not really be expired after all. Who would have thought there is so much science going on behind one glass of milk? So think twice before you throw away your next bottle of milk. Or should I say, sniff twice. Okay, that has really gone bad. Yep. <laughs>